Hello, welcome to the How Antigens Work video. Antigens are substances that elicit an immune response due to being processed by various immune cells called APCs. They are then presented to lymphocytes. They're also known as cell markers. They can be on infectious agents such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites. They're also on non-infectious substances in the environment, including dust, foods, and insect toxins. All the body cells have them, which are referred to as self-antigens, which the person's own immune system doesn't typically perceive these as immunogenic. This is known as immunotolerance. Some pathogens are successful because they mimic these self-antigens and are then able to avoid the immune response. Antigens are sometimes termed interchangeably with immunogens, but it's important to note that they have differences. An antigen is a molecule or molecular fragment that joins with antibodies or antigen receptors on B and T lymphocytes, but it doesn't always cause an immune response. A molecule that can initiate an immune response is an immunogen. So all immunogens are antigens, but not all antigens are immunogens. Certain criteria impact how much an antigen is immunogenic. These criteria include foreignness to the host, being present in sufficient quantity, and adequate size. As far as size, large molecules are commonly the most immunogenic. Numerous low molecular weight molecules can function as haptins, which are antigens that are too small to be immunogens by themselves, but can become immunogenic after consolidating with bigger molecules that function as carriers for the haptin. At the point when antigens enter the bloodstream, they encounter a variety of phagocytic cells, for example, dendritic cells and macrophages, which process the antigens. Antigen processing refers to the process by which large exogenous or endogenous antigens are cut up by enzymes into little antigenic fragments. They are then connected with the appropriate MHC molecules. This explains why certain immune cells are referred to as antigen-presenting cells, or APCs. Processed antigens must be presented on the APC surface by specific molecules known as major histocompatibility complex, abbreviated MHC molecules. MHC molecules are glycoproteins found on the outside of all human cells, except red blood cells. They are separated into two classes. Class 1 MHC molecules present antigens that are endogenous, which means they originated within the cell. Examples include antigens produced from infections or malignancies. T cytotoxic cells typically recognize the antigens presented by this class of molecules. Class II MHC molecules present exogenous antigens, which originate from outside the body. These antigens are found principally on infectious microorganisms that must initially go through phagocytosis. Antigens presented by this class are mostly recognized by T helper cells. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more videos that will help you succeed in nursing school. Have a fantastic day!